We will have Darren Harris, the number 45 overall prospect in the 2024 class, joining us here momentarily to make his college announcement. Darren is a six foot six small forward out of powerhouse program in the DMV, Paul the Six Catholic, and he makes for one of the very best shooters in the entire country, regardless of class. On the recruiting front, Darren is down to four options in Duke, Maryland, Miami, and Ohio State. He has taken several visits in the past few months, and several coaches have been calling and trying to land him uh, since the recruiting period opened for him back in the summer. So where will Darren be headed off to? Who will land his commitment? Let's bring him in to find out. Darren, welcome in, buddy. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. How about you? I'm, I'm great. Who you got there with you today? I got my family. I got my teammates behind me. I got uh, some supporters uh, in front of the camera, behind the camera. You've been a well-known recruit for some time now, uh, emerging during your freshman and sophomore years. But the recruiting period didn't open uh, for you until the summer where coaches can actually call and contact you. So this recruiting uh, process for you hasn't been long-lived. But even then, it can still be a lot to handle for some kids. Others, they love it. They love the attention. They love getting to know the coaches. How has uh, this experience been for you? I mean, it's been really fun. Uh, I really dreamed of having the options I have right now. Uh, like growing up, I really loved all these schools. So it was fun to hear from them and uh, like have them come to my games, come up my, my practices, and uh, it just paid. It showed them all my hard work paid off. You've taken multiple visits and you've trimmed this list down to four schools again, Duke, Maryland, Miami, and Ohio State. Obviously, Maryland being a local program, uh, but with all the schools that came calling, how difficult was it coming down to these Final Four and obviously this ultimate one that you're about to reveal? I mean, honestly, it wasn't really difficult at all. Uh, these four schools, they uh, made me feel like family. They made me feel really uh, welcomed and wanted. So uh, at the end of the day, I just made my decision to cut, cut the list down so early because, like, why not focus on these four? And if it was a new school to come in, try to recruit me early. I don't think they'll really catch up with these four, so why not? I know you're anxious to make this announcement, but you did not get here all alone. You obviously have many people there with you today. Um, is there anybody that you'd like to thank and recognize before making this decision? I want to thank my family first, uh, my dad, brother, and my mom. Uh, they sacrificed a lot for me to get to this point, made my dream come true. I want to thank uh, my uh, Gigi, granddad, Uncle Joey, Uncle, I mean, Aunt Lacey, uh, just for being there, always supporting me, sacrificing a lot. Uh, I want to thank all the rest of my family, my friends, always supporting me, having making, making sure I have a good time, taking some stress off of basketball. And uh, I want to thank my team and my coaches, Coach Keith, Coach Farello, Coach Jamil, Coach Lloyd, Coach Tracy, Coach Lamar, Coach Moses. Uh, they pushed me every day in practice, made sure I got to the point I wanted to be at, and uh, I'm here now. I want to thank my teammates also for pushing me every day in practice. All right, Darren, the moment is yours. Tell the world where you will be headed to further your college basketball career? Uh, for college, I'll be attending Duke University. Congratulations, Darren. Why Duke? Uh, Duke has always been a school I loved growing up. Uh, it's safe to say it was my dream school. Uh, I just didn't really publicize it because I didn't want people to already assume I'm going there automatically. So uh, when Coach Shire started recruiting me at the end of my freshman year, uh, it was a dream come true. I wanted to get this offer really bad. I wanted to play there eventually. And uh, I mean, yeah, it was just, it felt like perfect. It felt like it was destined. You are the first commitment for John Shire uh, in his 2024 class. Uh, as you said, he's been recruiting for some time now. Uh, what was it about this program? You obviously took a visit. What was it about that place that made you want to go ahead and pull this trigger so early? I think their culture just really stood out to me. Uh, so that's something that stuck out to me since I was a little kid. Like the way they play, just it, it's different from any other school. They play as a team. They have a lot of talent, of course, but they're all disciplined. They play together, kind of like my high school team, my AU team. So I just feel like it's a perfect fit, and uh, they're gonna allow me to have a lot of freedom as a shooter. So I mean, that's also great too because they have a great history of shooters. You took that official visit last weekend, so you're fresh off this visit. What was it about your time on campus that felt like home? Uh, I think the campus, is, first off, is beautiful. Like, the chapel, all that is crazy. It's really small, so easy to get around. And uh, Coach Shire was always with me on the visit. 
Like that's something I really didn't experience on any other visits. It's mostly just assistants talking to me. But Coach Shaw really made a point to spend time with me and my family, make me feel like home. Uh, another thing that stood out was uh, I met with Coach K for a while, and uh, like he didn't have to do that. He's not with the program anymore. But that really stood out to me because, like Coach Shire, Coach K told me that Coach Shire really talks to him a lot about me, how much he loves my game. So it really stood out. You are the third commitment for Duke out of PVI, I think, since 2020. Obviously, Jeremy Roach is still there. Last year, they had Trevor Keels, who went off to the NBA draft. Um, what have those guys been telling you about the Duke culture and program and their experiences on campus? Uh, yeah, I talked to Trevor before I made the decision officially. Uh, he just kept it real with me, and I really respect that because, I mean, every school's going to have positives and negatives, but, you know, I'd rather have someone keep it real with me. And it's also a great resource because it's easy to talk to me. He went here. I was on his team for one year. So a lot of people don't get that resource to talk to somebody that went to a school that they want to go to. So, uh, yeah, it meant a lot. All right, man. Last question I have for you. Tell Duke fans what they are getting in Darren Harris. I mean, they're going to get a winner, someone that uh, brings great basketball IQ, toughness, and they're, they're going to get a really good shooter. Uh, I mean, they have a great history with shooters, so I was kept trying to keep the tradition going. Congrats again, Darren. Uh, enjoy your moment, uh, and, and just, again, well-deserved, man. You, you've been uh, one of the better players and, again, one of the best shooters in the country. Uh, so congrats and enjoy your moment. Thank you. Appreciate it. There you have it. Darren Harris is off the board to the Duke Blue Devils, uh, making for the first commitment in the 2024 class, giving John Shire one of the very best shooters in the country, but he also brings – a high IQ and a feel for the game. He's going to be a player who can come in and contribute right away and will be a valuable piece for the four for a, for four years uh, while he's in the Duke uniform. So tune in and sub like, link, uh, and subscribe to the 24-7 Sports channel uh, for all the latest news and analysis. And again, head over to 247sports.com where you can find the full story and, again, more analysis over there. So Thanks again for joining us and enjoy your Saturday. We'll see you soon.